everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 291 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This square today is so pretty. It is a 3D flower. It has popcorn stitches and it's a beautiful square. It is called Wildflower Days and the written pattern is actually on my website yarnutopia.com so you can see it there. Look at how beautiful that's. And it's a six petal flower. We rarely ever make six petal flowers if ever um, so that is a really cool thing we're doing today and we're doing a lot of double crocheting in this pattern a lot of single crocheting and also half double crocheting to make this beautiful design I am only using two colors today these are red heart super saver yarns this is just a 10 ply size 4 worsted weight medium yarn uh, you can use any scrap yarns that you have lying around this square does not take up too much yarn uh, and then I'm going to demonstrate this square with an H size hook which is five millimeters so make sure you have that as well as a yarn needle and a scissor these tools will come in handy when you change color and cut your yarn and sew in the ends and everything now before we start I have to mention there are links in the description of this video so there's a link to the written pattern for this wildflower days square on my website yarnutopia.com there's also a link to the Facebook and Instagram make sure to share your photos find today's square on the Facebook wall and share your photo in the comment section tell me what you liked about this square and if it was challenging for you or if we liked it also uh, share your photo on Instagram and hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia also make sure that you're following me and if you want to you can comment on your own photo and at me so at yarn utopia by Nadia Fouad on Instagram and then I will for sure see your photo uh, some of the photos kind of get lost in the shuffle and I haven't been able to double tap all of them so make sure that you tag me in your photos or you know comment on your own photo my username and then I'll be able to go and see it for sure also, I have to say a huge thank you to my dad, Fouad Osmond, for taking the time to make these videos with us every single day. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of Yarn Utopia's videos. So make sure you hit that eye in the corner there and support us both so that we can keep bringing you these crochet tutorials. And also hit that red subscribe button by my username over here by the video. Just log into your account and subscribe to our channel so we, you can get that update on when he posts our next video. So now let's get started and make number two. 191 granny square. Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull that through, pull tight, insert your hook, and we can start. So let's start out by chaining four. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two three and four and then we're going to come all the way to the beginning chain way over here and form a slip stitch so go in yarn over and pull through and through and there we have a ring if you know how to start with the magic ring you can start that way as well but going on to round one we're going to chain up three so yarn over and pull through one yarn over pull through two and three and that counts as the first double crochet of this round now into this ring we are going to put 11 double crochets so yarn over go into the ring yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay that is a double crochet so again yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so again, that's number two, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's three, this is four, five, six, seven, here's eight, nine, ten, 
and 11. And you can see I was working kind of in a round uh, circular form here and I was crocheting over this loose end here. So I'm going to pull that tight to kind of close that center a little bit better. And then we're going to count back so we have 12 stitches because like I said in the beginning there that chain up three counts as a stitch. So we're going to count back 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 should lead you to this chain up three here. We're going to go into the chain up three and then yarn over and pull through and through for a slip stitch. And there's round number one. Fabulous. Going right into round number two. Let me make sure here I'm not going to, oh, I'm going to change color here. If you're not changing color, um, just to chain up three and go on to the next round. But I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn, pull it through and pull tight. If you're changing color, you can start in any stitch around, but I'm just going to go right into that same stitch there. And then I'm going to grab my new color, hook that on the hook and pull it through. Okay. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through. And we're just going to repeat that around. So chain three, one, two, three, skip the next stitch, and slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay, then chain three, one, two, three, skip the next single crochet, or I'm sorry, slip stitch into the next. Okay, did I single crochet in that one? I did. We're slip stitching. Sorry, guys. One, two, three, skip one, slip stitch into the next. Chain one, uh, three, one, two, three, skip one, slip stitch into the next. You could single crochet, but um, we're not working in those stitches at all. So chain three. And now when you come back around, we're going to skip this last stitch and we're going to slip stitch to this first chain of this beginning chain three here. So right down here, go in, yarn over, oopsie, there we go, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, that was round two. Going right into round three, I'm not going to change color. If you want to, you can fasten off here, change your color, uh, and start in any chain space here. I'm just going to slip stitch into this chain space. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. So now we're in that space. And then we're going to chain up three. One, two, and three. And now we're going to make the petals of our flower here. So we're going to put four double crochets into the same space. So yarn over, go into the space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, this is two, three, and four. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to slip stitch back into that same space. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And there's our petal. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, or into the, I'm sorry, not next stitch, the next chain space here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Then chain up three, one, two, three, and repeat what we did. So put four double crochets into this space. One, two, three, and four, and then chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch back into that same space. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So just repeat that then. Go slip stitch into the next space here, chain up three, and just repeat. So if you need to follow along with the written pattern, I'm just going to finish my petals here, and then we'll go on to round four. All right, when you finish your last petal, just slip stitch into that chain space there, and then we can go on to the next round. Now I am going to uh, slip stitch in this beginning here, just in the beginning chain here and then I'm gonna fasten off. It's gonna be tight but I'm gonna do it. There we go. Yarn over, pull through and through. And now we're gonna ch uh, fasten off regardless if you're changing color or not. So chain one, cut that, pull it through, pull tight. 
okay? So there is a cute little flower, actually. If you wanted to, you could just have a nice little flower applique. Have it for a headband or a hat or something cute. Uh, something adorable. There you go. So there's a flower, but we need to make this into a square. So what we're going to do for this next round is work in these skipped stitches from round one here. So we're going to actually work behind our petal. So fold this forward, go into that stitch that we skipped. Okay, I'm going to use that color I used in round one. You can use any color you want. I'm just gonna hook that on the hook and pull it through. And then I'm gonna chain up three. One, two, and three. And that's going to count as a double crochet in this round. So now in the same stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go back into that same stitch, working behind our petal, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to hop over to this one, this stitch that we skipped over here, the very next skipped stitch, we're going to fold this petal forward and we're going to put three double crochets in that stitch. So one, two, and three. And then we're just going to repeat that around. So go to the next, just fold this next petal forward and then put three double crochets into that skipped stitch from that previous round. Okay, so I'm just going to do that all the way around and then I will meet you up for the next round. Alright, when you come back around, you have to slip stitch to this beginning, chain up three here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And now you should have 18 double crochets on this round. And if it bowls up like that, no worries. This next round will flatten that out a little bit. You can stretch it out as well. Uh, going on to round five, we are going to, if you want to, you can fasten off and change color. I'm not going to, though. I am just going to chain up three. One, two, three, and put a double crochet into that same stitch. So yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So now it looks like there's two double crochets in that same stitch because that chain of three counts as a stitch. And now we're going to put two double crochets into each stitch around for a total of 36 double crochets. So put two double crochets in that stitch and two double crochets in every stitch around. So then this round is super simple, so then I'll just meet you up for round six. All right, once you have your th 36 uh, double crochets around, this should flatten out by now, so it should look like something like this. So now we are going to slip stitch to this chain up three here. One, two, three, go in. And then yarn over and pull through and pull through. Pull tight. At this point, if you're not changing color and going on to round six, just chain up three and go on to round six with me. But I'm going to chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. This next round, if you're changing color, you can start in any stitch around. So I'm just going to go right back into that same stitch though. Just right in there. There we go. Grabbing my other color hooking that on the hook and pulling that through and then chain up three. One, two, three. And that's going to count as a part of our beginning popcorn stitch. So we're going to make a beginning popcorn stitch in the same stitch here. So we need to put three double crochets in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one. Go back in for another one and go back in for a third double crochet. So now it looks like there's four double crochets because that chain of three counts as a stitch. You see there, I just pulled up this loop, removed my hook, and now I'm going to go into that chain of three. So right into that stitch, or that chain of three stitch there. Then put the loop back on your hook and then pull it through and pull tight, so then that makes that popcorn stitch really pop. That looks awesome. So now we need to double crochet into the next three stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And the next stitch, that's two, and the next stitch is three. 
And now we're going to do a regular popcorn stitch in the next stitch. So we have to put four double crochets all in that same stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, then we're going to pull up that loop and remove our hook. We're going to go into the first double crochet of that four double crochet grouping here. And then we're going to put that loop back on our hook, pull it tight, and then pull it through that stitch and pull again tighter. So then that makes that popcorn stitch really pop. That looks awesome. Now we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two and three and then we're going to repeat what we did so popcorn stitch in the next stitch so that's four double crochets in all in that same stitch and then we're going to remove our hook go into the first double crochet of that grouping put our loop back on the hook and pull it through and pull tight and then we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. So if you need to, like I said earlier, follow along with the written pattern uh, that's linked in the description of this video. Otherwise, I will meet you up for the next round. All right, finishing this round, I just have to double crochet in these last three stitches here. And then we want to slip stitch to the beginning popcorn stitch. So you can decide if you want to slip stitch in that beginning chain of three, if you want to slip stitch in the middle of this popcorn here, I'm just going to go into the center of the popcorn stitch, yarn over, pull through and through. And now if you're not changing color and going on to round seven, slip stitch into this next stitch right here and then chain up three and go on to round seven. But I'm gonna chain one right here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. I'll sew that in in a minute. But what we want to do is start in a, a double crochet right after a popcorn stitch. So right into this double crochet here. And I'm gonna change my yarn out here hook that on the hook and pull it through and then chain up three. One, two, three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. Now we're going to double crochet in each of these next two double crochets. So one and one, just like that. Now we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to skip over this popcorn stitch and then double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two and three and then we're just going to repeat that all the way around so chain four one two three four skip the popcorn stitch and then double crochet into each of the three double crochets that are between the popcorns okay and then just chain four whoopsie whoa <laughs> there we go chain four one two three and four and then skip this popcorn and double crochet in the next three. If you need to, follow along with the written pattern that's linked in the description of this video. Otherwise, I'll meet you up at the end of this round. All right, when you're finished with this round, make sure to chain that last three there and then slip stitch to this beginning chain up three right here. Go in and then yarn over and pull through and pull through that loop on your hook. Now if you're not changing color and going on to round eight, just chain up one and single crochet into the same stitch. I will change color and I'll meet you there. Just uh, if you're changing color, chain one and cut that yarn, pull it through and pull tight and insert your hook into a first double crochet of any three double crochet grouping. So I'm just going to go right back into that chain up three and picking up a new yarn here pulling that through and then chain up one and then single crochet into that same stitch. So go back in, yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And this next stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. In the chain three space here, we're actually going to put five single crochets in this, all in that same space. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. 
okay? And then in these next three stitches, we are going to put one single crochet in each one of those. One, one, and one. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that around. So in the chain three spaces, put five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then the next three stitches get a single crochet each. So one, one, and one. Okay, so then just repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have 72 single crochets. So good luck, and I will meet you up for the next round. When you come back around, just slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now, if you're not changing color, slip stitch into these next two stitches and then into this first single crochet of this five single crochet grouping in this chain three space, okay? Uh, and then chain up five and go on to round nine with me. But I'm going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through, pull tight. If you're changing color, start like I said, in a first single crochet of a five single crochet grouping. Okay, so you see one, two, three, four, five. These all these single crochets in this chain five or chain three space here. We're gonna go into the first single crochet of that. Okay, and I'm gonna use my other color, hook that on the hook, and pull it through. And then we're going to chain up five. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three four and five. And now we're going to, so that actually counts as, I'll tell you, the first three chains count as our double crochet, and then the next two chains counts as a chain two space of the corner. So now in the very next stitch, we are going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, we also have to double crochet into the next stitch, so yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next three stitches, so yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is a half double crochet. So that was one, we have to do three in a row, so that was one. Next stitch is two, and again I'll demonstrate this next one, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so there's three half double crochets in a row. Now we are going to single crochet in the next eight stitches, so you remember single crochets from the last round, so go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, next stitch is two, this is three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that's one, next stitch is two, and the next stitch is three. Then we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So remember, a double crochet is yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there was two in a row there. For the corner, we have to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And now we're going to repeat what we did. So double crochet into the next two stitches then half double crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, and three, then single crochet into the next eight stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, then half double crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and then double crochet into the next two stitches, one and two. Then chain two, one and two, and repeat. So if you need to, follow along with the written pattern, otherwise I will meet you up at the end of round nine. When you come back around, we have to double crochet into the very last stitch here. 
And then we're going to slip stitch to the third chain of our beginning chain five here. So one, two, three, just go into that third chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can fasten off. So chain one and cut your yarn and then pull that through and pull tight. If you wanted to, you could go on to doing another round, like a single crochet round if you wanted to clean up the edges, but uh, that is the end of the pattern. So now we're just going to weave in this end, but there it is, number 291 Granny Square. Finished, awesome. Make sure to share your photos on the Facebook, on the Instagram. Let me know what you thought of today's square. I'd love to see what colors you came up with uh, to make this wildflower day's granny square. Uh, make sure to check out that written pattern that's linked in the description of this video. Also check out the Instagram and Facebook and hashtag 365 days of granny squares when you do share your photo. Snapchat me, all that good stuff. Enjoy your square today. Have a great rest of your day. As always, happy hooking!